We're going to take a look at 944 Lighthouse Drive. Um, it's a rare time that this house is available to see. It is a very popular rental and because of uh, this storm we've got access to it and I just met with the builder Todd Coyle who showed me some features of this house. It is enormous. It's got a lot to see and I'm not going to be able to hit on everything in it because it would take two hours. But uh, let's walk through and hit some of the high points. One nice thing is that it was constructed on an elevated lot. They brought in a lot of fill material so that this is um, high above the sea level. There's not going to be any flooding or any issues with that. And because it is uh, a semi-ocean front, not right on the ocean, it's going to benefit from um, uh, that distance from the salt air, the wind, and uh, the extra wear and tear that comes from having um, a house that's right on the ocean. There are ocean views from the home. Before we go in, let me just uh, hand some of the detail work of the front elevation. It's got that gable there, an arbor. You'll see that uh, motif ties in through the interior of the house also. Where to start? Let's go in on level number two. Right away, you'll see this dramatic staircase and these beams uh, on the top floor. But in this entryway, One nice feature is the wainscoting, which is all wood, and uh, the shiplap board, which um, really gives a good look. And it's in a lot of the traffic areas so that uh, guests coming through will have durable wall surface um, for coming in with their luggage and so forth. There's an elevator here that has a uh, glass door on it. You can see the elevator go up and down and it's lit at night with the timer uh, light so that uh, it's illuminated and you can um, uh, appreciate that elevator feature. The floors throughout are bamboo, very hard. This is just a little sitting room. The house has um, 6,000 square feet. Tile, the builder was telling me about the special application of tile that he does that um, uh, prevents any kind of cracking, really holds it down. It's a, it's a pretty house inside, my gosh. So I opened the doors to show you the um, laundry room here, centralized area. All the doors are solid wood. Here's an example of a bedroom. There are 11 bedrooms in the home. All are done a little bit differently. Um, they're all roughly the same size so that uh, there's no um, disparity. The bathrooms, very much state-of-the-art. All tile showers. Two of the bathrooms have uh, tubs in it like this. Here's another bedroom just to show you the variation. Here's the bath. All glass and tile showers. Moving down the hallway a little more. I'm not gonna go in all 11 bedrooms, but you can see the quality of the decor and the furnishings.
another bedroom. Let's go downstairs now to the first floor. Here we have an owner's storage closet. There's a commercial ice machine behind this door. Here's a game room. Little kitchenette area, dishwasher, microwave, refrigerator. Behind this sliding door is the theater room. Projection TV. Ooh, it's very quiet in here. Enormous screen. On the ground level, there is a, there are three bedrooms, bunk room here. Huge master. Again, 11 bedrooms, 11 baths, and two half baths. So I'm going up the elevator now to the third floor. Really cool to have this glass door, kind of unusual. So as we step out of the elevator, you can see a little bit of the uh, top level. Again, this beautiful feature of beams overhead. So let's explore the dining area, kitchen, two large tables, opens up to a deck. The kitchen has a ginormous refrigerator, two sinks, two dishwashers, ice maker and wine bar. These cabinets, he was telling me, are all three quarter inch constructed. The view back into the dining area, quite dramatic house, quite a dramatic house. Travertine tile, microwave, under counter, upper. Gas stove, there are two on-demand gas water heaters. Fireplace, beautiful furniture, great. Great, tasteful design. A view of the ocean through the windows here. I've lost count of the bedrooms, but here's another one upstairs leading into the shower. Bathroom adjacent. This one has a tub again. So the owner selects all of the decorations, all of the furnishings, and is very involved in the building process. He's used the same builder for all of his homes here and really uses the best materials, things you see and things that are underneath the skin. Here's one last view of the kitchen and dining area. 
Let's go outside now onto the deck. So here's a deck that um, can demonstrate a couple of things. First of all, this is a smart siding material. It's solid, it's structural, and um, holds paint really well. All the soffits are made of the same thing. 50 year roof system on this house. The railing is all vinyl, custom done. You don't see this design very often. And let's look over into the pool area. So from this view, you can see a very large pool with a couple of raised deck areas in the pool so you could put chairs or um, sit. And in the center, of course, is a kiddie pool. These fountains are all um, uh, controlled to go on and off when you want them. The arbor design reflects the interior of the house. So I went on to the front deck now and I'm showing you that um, area where you can clearly hear the ocean. You can see the very large parking area that's here to accommodate the guests that can stay in this home. 20, 30 guests. So I'm back out in the front of the house now. I'm just gonna walk through um, a breezeway here that shows you really some nice planning. There's some um, storage area for what they call beach stuff. Then there's owner storage here. Two showers. And then the bar and the pool area. So this covered area allows you to um, cook and uh, drink and entertain right outside next to the swimming pool. There's a half bath there to access without going into the main house. Under the arbor is a hot tub. So just to wrap up this uh, video tour, there are many things to see that uh, I couldn't show you here, but the house is built with lots of quality materials and craftsmanship in the design and um, um, appointments make it one of the nicest homes I've ever seen here on the Outer Banks. 944 Lighthouse Drive, pretty spectacular house.